Hi everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today we are going to learn how to make a sketch line using uh, Visual Basic for Inventor. So let's start. Well, you must have in mind that my computer is in Spanish, in Latin America and Spanish, okay? But this is the same for the Visual Basic in English or a computer in English, there is no problem about that. So we're going to choose a new file here and uh, in this item visual basic we're going to choose a windows form application yeah so you just can put a new new name uh, the name you want for example sketch line one and just save your project whatever you want and uh, once the new file is open we're going to go here in form number one and we're going to right click on it and uh, go to show code yeah or just press F7 so to get access to the inventors options or to the inventor's objects or to the inventor's functions we have to import the libraries from inventor in order to use it here in this programming environment so what we're going to do is we gotta go here in reference and just right click on it and add reference yeah. so here you got a, you have to look for the inventors libraries you could go here so once we are here we gotta go to the to the folder where we have installed inventor in my case is in program files Autodesk and uh, Inventor 2018 and uh, here in uh, bin in public assemblies here and here we have the the Inventor libraries so we have to check it and uh, add and here we check the the new inventor library so okay and uh, if you can see here we have the inventor libraries if you want to know about those um, those objects in this library you just have to right click on it and look in the in this in this item and go here and you have all the objects and functions of this uh, library well once we have the inventors library here and uh, we have to import it to our programming environment and uh, to import it we have to call it and how could we call it is simple we just have to type import imports and inventor so in this moment we have the inventors library working in this programming environment I almost forgot it but we have to add those three items those are important in order to to run our program and to test it yeah so now we are going to we are going to create our first variable so in order to create a variable we have to put dim and in this case I will call it inv app as inventor dot application now and with this command line we are we are assigning an object 
call application from the from the class inventor to this variable. Well, now we're going to create our uh, second variable. It will be called target as boolean, and we are going to initialize it with a uh, false. With this variable, we are going to create our next variable. It will be part doc as as part document part document and next is a part def as part definition part component definition excuse me throughout the video I'm going to explain you what does it means yeah. Now we are going to create a new subroutine. In order to do that, we have to go here and click on it and click on new. So we have here our new subroutine. In this new subroutine, we are going to put our new code. This code is going to be used to open Inventor from our application. The first thing we have to do is to look for an active session from Inventor. In order to do that, uh, we're going to use the command uh, try, try catch. So we have to put the next uh, line, imp up equal to marshal dot get active object uh, inventor dot application. This command Marshall is an object. It's an object from this class, the interop service, the systems that runtime that interop services, services. And uh, what does it do? Um, basically, what it uh, does is to look for an active object. In this case, an active application and uh, which is going to be that application that application will be inventor that application is going to be um, assigned to this variable here but let's suppose that this command try can can find an open uh, an open application from inventor so in this case we're going to show a message message box and we're going to show uh, this message for example there is no an active session it's important to taste the, the code at every time so we're going to do that here we're going to test it and uh, because of uh, we don't have an active session from inventor we have this uh, this message so our code is okay from the moment. Well, the command try is important here because uh, with this command catch, we can uh, show to the user the problem when the command try was looking for an active session in Inventor. For example, if we put message box and uh, ex, this variable ex, and uh, convert to a string and uh, just test it and uh, you will see what happened then there is not active session and this is the exception or the uh, or the problem when the, the command try was looking for an active session so uh, if you remember we don't have an active session from inventor so this is the problem this is the exception or this is the, uh, the mistake where the Common try was looking for an active session. Now, well, now let me delete that line. And now, uh, what we want to do with that? Uh, in, uh, for example, let's suppose we don't have, like in this case, we don't have an uh, an inventor application open. So we are going to open a new one. No, for this, for that reason, we are going to use another try. 
and in that try we are going to put the code to open a new a new a new session a new application from inventor so we are going to do that uh, dim inv me, inv I'm going to create a new variable inv app type as type I will at the end of this code I will explain you what does it means no? yeah so now what we are doing here uh, we have created a new variable called inv app type as type and uh, we are assigning it this uh, object inventor application and how how could we get this inventor application object with this function get type from proc id so once we have it we have to create an instance or create an object um, and for this reason it's important to have a, a variable as a type when I have a variable as a type I can create an instance and I can assign it to the inf app yeah? you can see that instance or that object like the inventor application and uh, in this line we are we are making visible that object or in other words we are opening the inventor application so we are going to test it right now well there is no active session that's true and now it should open a new application from inventor so if you see here we have a new application from inventor well in the case uh, we have an exception now we have to create a message and you have to put a new variable here because it is the same from here so we have to create another one it will be ex2 and uh, we could say for example message box um, if we can if we if we want we could show the the exception to the to the user and say a message box uh, excuse me a message like uh, it is not possible to open inventor now I want I want to show you something let's start the program well, uh, well we have an active session here but what happened if I close here uh, well nothing nothing happens but uh, it is possible to close this active session when I close my program and I will show you how to do that in order to do that we have to use this variable we have cre created at the beginning of the video and uh, in this case when inventory is open we have to say start will be true now we have to create an action an action for for the form number one or for the window yeah uh, we have to create a, an event excuse me so let's go uh, here and check form one event and here in uh, let's look for form form closed here and here we are going to put the code in order to close inventor when our application is closed too and here we just have to say if start equals uh, true 
then um, env app dot quit. So it's simple. Uh, it just means that when uh, the form one is closing, inventor is going to close too. And here you could write a message um, like closing session and we are going to test it now if I close that form closing session and inventory is closed